In this module, we are going to learn about Oracle networking. Now, what is Oracle networking? How clients connect to the Oracle database? How client and database connectivity happens? How do you set up the networking between Oracle client and Oracle server? All these topics will be covered in this module. But first, before we even get inside configuration of the networking, we need to understand about something called as Oracle client. Now, what is a client? Assume that we have our database server. This is the database server where prod DB is running or our production database is running, right? And this is our application server. Application server. When your application wants to connect to the database, it cannot directly connect to the database. Why? Because you need to install something called as Oracle Client. Oracle Client on the application server. With the help of Oracle Client, the application will connect to Oracle Client. Oracle Client connects to the database server and then the queries are executed on the database server. This is how things work in real time. Now the question is, what is Oracle Client? Oracle Client is a very light software or very small software. It is exactly same as Oracle Database, but the only difference is you cannot create a database. It's the same software as Oracle Database, but there is no capability of creating a database where you install the Oracle Client. So what you can do with the Oracle Client, you can only connect to remote databases. To learn and understand the Oracle networking, what we will be doing is our database server that is ProdDB, it is installed on a virtual machine. I will go ahead and download the Oracle client, install it on my Windows machine. And from our Windows machine, we will use Oracle Client to query inside the ProdDB. We'll actually connect from Oracle Client to our production database from the Windows machine. And this is how things work in real time. Whenever there is an application deployment on any server, which will be talking to a database server remotely, then on the application server itself, you need to install the Oracle Client. Now, how do you download Oracle Client? How do you install Oracle Client? How do you connect Oracle Client from the application server to the database server? How networking is performed? What is a listener? What are all the TNS entries? All those things we are going to learn in this module. First of all, let us go ahead and download the Oracle Client. What you need to do is go on to Downloads, click on Oracle Database, accept the license agreement, and then if you come down to Oracle 11G release 2 for the Linux version, Linux x86-64, click on see all. We already know how to download the database software, but if you scroll down a little bit, you can see Oracle database 11G release 2 client. This is the client software for Linux. But remember, we need the client software to be installed on Windows machine. So we cannot download this client. Client is to be downloaded for the server where you are going to install. We are going to install the client on Windows machine. So we have to download the client for Windows machine, not for the Linux machine. Don't get confused. You should not download the client as per the database server operating system. Like our database is installed on Linux, correct? So it does not mean that we need to download client for Linux. No, client is to be downloaded as per the server on which you want to install the client. We'll go back and then we have Microsoft Windows 64 bit. Click on see all, accept the license agreement. And if you scroll down, Oracle database 11G release to client for Microsoft Windows. Now this is the client that we need. Click on this one, the download will start. As I already downloaded this file, what I'll do is I'll cancel the download 
and let me browse to the location where I have the file. This is the location where I already have the Oracle client. Once you download the zip file, what you need to do is you need to unzip the file and after unzipping, you will get these folders. In these folders, you have the setup. Just double click on the setup. Now this will launch the Oracle client installer. Once again, as I said earlier, when you install a client, you cannot create a database, but rather using client, you can connect to any remote database, but the networking must be configured between the client and remote server in order for, for you to make the connection. So here we have the client installer and the client installer first screen, it will ask you to select the type of client. It is always better to go with the administrator administrator option because it will give you little more functionalities when compared to the other types over here. Click on next. We'll go with the default language. Next. You need to provide the location where do you want to install the client. What I'll do is rather than D drive, I'll want it to be installed on E drive. Then click on next. These are the details. Click on finish and the client installation will begin. So here is the document which will guide you to perform the Oracle client installation. This document will be available for you to download below the video. And there are all the screens and the options written already as to how to install the Oracle client. Perfect. Once the Oracle client is installed, just click on close. This way you need to make sure that you download the proper client for the proper operating system, install the client and in our next lessons we are going to set up the connectivity between the Oracle client that we have installed on the Windows machine to the database server that is running on the Linux machine.